Kreskal's algorithm seems to produce a minimum weight spanning tree. However, there are two objectionable features. The intermediate graphs might not be connected, and we have to find the least weight edge. Since a large graph might have thousands or millions of edges, Kreskal's algorithm might be inefficient. So can we find a minimum weight spanning tree in another way? One alternative was presented in 1930 by Wojciech Jarnik. Unfortunately, Jarnik's original paper was in Czech, so the algorithm wasn't widely known. It would be invented independently by Robert Prim in 1957, so it's usually called Prim's algorithm. The algorithm begins with the vertex. The least weight edge is added to the spanning tree. This adds another vertex to the spanning tree. Now extend the tree by using the least weight edge that has one vertex in the tree and does not form a cycle. So let's use Prim's algorithm to find a spanning tree. Let's start at vertex B. There are three edges we could add. We'll take the edge with the least weight, which is going to be B, C. Now, we could still add B, E, and B, A. But since we've added vertex C, we could also add edge C, E with weight 4, or edge C, A with weight 6. And we'll add our least weight edge, which would be C, E, but we'll include C, A on our list of potential additions. The edges incident on E are E, G, E, D, and E, B. But E, B would create a cycle, so we'll never add it. In fact, the only reason it would create a cycle is because it goes to a vertex already in our tree, which means we can also eliminate the edge B, E from future consideration. So the edges we can add are, and we'll choose the minimum weight edge C, A. The new vertex A gives us the edge AB, which would produce a cycle, so we'll never include it, and we can also eliminate BA. So the potential additions at this point are the edges we could have added before, as well as the new edges AD and AF. And the least weight edge is AD, so we'll include it. Again, adding DE would produce a cycle, so we'll never include it, and we can eliminate the edge ED from future consideration. So our potential additions are the edges we had before, EG and AF, and the new edge DG, and the least weight edge is AF, so we'll include it. Choosing F gives us FG as another edge we could include. So our potential additions are EG, DG, and FG. Since choosing FG won't produce a cycle, we'll choose it as our last edge. And that gives us our spanning tree with a total weight of, which is minimal. So now we have two approaches to finding weighted trees, which is better. Clearly the better algorithm is whichever one works better. Kruskal's runs slightly faster, Prim's is easier to implement. And since they access the edge data differently, one algorithm will be better suited for the way the edge data is stored in a particular case.